Good day everyone. So it discuss natin how to graph linear equation in two variables given yung dalawang points. Okay? Uh, let's say for example we have uh, two points. Uh, let's say yung points natin ay 2 and 4 and negative 4, comma 2. Remember this, na makakabuo lang tayo ng isang line or ng graph kapag meron tayong dalawang points. Okay? So, how to graph these two points? So, we need a Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system. So, what we're going to do is to plot 2 and 4. So, 2, ibig sabihin, this is the abscissa, nandito yan sa x-axis. This is our x-axis, the horizontal line. Hanapin natin si 2 dyan, which is ito yun. Yan, okay? Then, yung 4 naman, hahanapin natin sa y-axis. This is the y-axis since that's positive, so nandito yan. Pagtapatin lang natin yung dalawa na yan, so therefore, nandito yung kanyang point. So, yung 2, 4, pag pinagtapat natin yan, nandyan yung kanyang point. Okay? Now, after that, i-plot naman natin yung negative 4 and 2. So, hanapin natin sa negative 4 dito. Again, laging mauuna sa x-axis, itong horizontal line. Since that's negative, nandito yan, no? Nandito yung negative sa left side of the number line. So, nasaan sa negative 4? Nandito. Okay? Now, hanapin naman natin si positive 2. So, again, pag pangalawang number sa so ordered pair natin, nasa y-axis. So, nandito yan. So, since that's positive, nasa taas. So, nasaan yung positive 2 dyan? Nandito. Okay? So, pagtapatin lang natin yan. So, therefore, nandito yung kanyang point. So, be careful, ano, sa pagpaplat ng points, itong unang number, that is the abscissa, lagi yan mauna. Lagi yung uunahin sa x-axis. Tapos yung pangalawang number, laging nandito sa y-axis. So, okay? Now, to graph these two points, kailangan lang natin ay i-connect yung dalawang points. Okay. So, that's it. Iyan na yung ating graph. The graph of 2 and 4 and negative 4 and 2. Let's have another example. Let's say we have 0, 5. Then we have another ordered pair or coordinate, uh, negative 6 and negative 3, okay? So we need a Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system. Now, lagi itong tandaan, pag nauna itong 0, automatic na iyan ay nasa y-axis. Kapag pangalawa yung 0, let's say 5, 0, lagi iyan nandito sa x-axis. So, since now na yung 0, nasa y-axis. 0, 5. So, paano ipaplat yan? So, hanapin mo na lang yung 5 sa y-axis. So, nasaan yung 5 sa y-axis? So, nandito yung 5 natin. So, yung 0, 5, nandito mismo sa ating y-axis. Okay? Now, next, uh, we have negative 6. So, saan nga ulit hahanapin si negative 6? Sa x-axis or y-axis? Laging mauna si x-axis. So, nasaan sa negative 6? Negative, ayan. Then, negative 3. Saan mo naman hahanapin yan? Sa y-axis. So, since this is positive, ito yung negative. Nandito yan. Okay, pagtabatin lang natin tong negative 6 and negative 3. So, nandito yung ating point. That's it. And after that, after you plot the points, you connect the points. Ayun na yung ating graph. How about kung walang given na points, no? Ang binigay lang sa atin ay uh, equation. Okay, so let's have number 3. Let's say, ang equation natin ay 3x plus 2y equals Four. Okay, so wala ta walang binigay sa atin ng dalawang points. So, tayo ang maghahanap ng dalawang points para may graph natin. So, first step, you have to create a table of values. Okay, ito yung value ng x. 
Ito yun ang value ng y. So, dito, uh, pipili lang tayo or mag-isip ka lang ng kahit anong value ng x na gusto mo. So, piliin natin uh, yung number na maliit, ano? Kasi mas madaling mag-graph ang maliit na number, no? So, let's try x. So, kung x yung, uh, kung 1 yung x, ano ngayon ang value ng y? So, yan ang isosolve natin. If x equals 1, what is y? Copy the equation 3x plus 2y equals 4. So, ang gagawin natin, itong x, papalitan natin ng 1. Since 1 ang inassign natin for x. So, 3. So, substitute natin. No? Imbes na x, papalitan natin ng 1. Then, copy plus 2y equals 4. Okay? 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 2y equals 4. So, ang goal kasi natin dito ay uh, matira si y. So, what we're going to do is subtract tayo ng 3. 3, 3 minus 3, kopyahin natin si plus 2y. Then, kung mag-minus ka ng 3 doon, dapat mag-minus ka din ng 3 sa right side of the equation. Eh, bakit minus 3? Kasi yung gusto natin, makancel out ito. Inahanap kasi natin yung value ng y. So, uh, lagay natin dito. So, copy 2y is equal to what is 4 minus 3? That is 1. Okay, next. Kailangan y na lang matira, na, matira dito. So, we divide both sides of the equation by 2. Bakit 2? Para ma-cancel out natin yan. So, kung mag-divide ka ng 2 dyan, mag-divide ka rin dito. So, y is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 or 1 half, pwede na. So, this is now the value of y. So, ilagay na natin yan dito na value ng y, 0.5. Next, so since meron na tayong 1 point, this is 1 ordered pair, kailangan ulit mag-assign tayo ng isa pa value ng x para makuha, ta makakuha tayo ng isa pang point. So, let's say, uh, lagay natin ay 2. So, solve ulit natin, dito na lang, no? If x equals 2, y, what is y? Okay, so copy again yung ating equation 3x plus 2y equals 4. So, so we copy 3, then papalitan natin ano ang isa-substitute natin kay x, that is 2. Okay? Then copy plus 2y, copy equals 4. What is 3 times 2? That is 6. Copy 2y, copy 4. So, ang goal natin, kailangan matira si y dito. So, kailangan mawala to. We subtract both sides of the equation by 6. Plus 2y, copy, equals 4. So, kung mag-minus ka ng 6 doon, kailangan minus 6 din dito. So, this is now cancel out. Okay? So, we just copy 2y. What is 4 minus 6? That is negative, negative 2. Okay? So, paano mawawala si 2 dito kay y? Divide natin both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of y, which is 2. So, we now cancel 2. Matira na lang ay y. So, what is negative 2 divided by 2? That is negative 1. So, this is now the value of Y. So, lagay na natin yan dito sa ating table of value. So, therefore, ito na yung ating mga ordered pair. Okay, so we need a Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system. Okay, so we need to plot 1, yung ating x-axis ay 1, so nandito yan. Okay, positive 1. 0 0.5, ibig sabihin, nasa pagitan ng 0 at 1. So, nandito ang 0 0.5. So, nasaan yung 1 and 0 0.5? 1, 0 0.5, nandito yan. Okay? So, nasa gitna yan. Next, about 2, positive 2, hahanapin mo lagi yan sa x-axis. Yan. Then, negative 1 sa y-axis. So, nandito yung negative 1 sa baba. 
Okay? So, pagtapatin lang natin yan. So, therefore, nandito yung kanyang point. Then, we connect the points. That is now our graph.